Hi everyone, welcome back to High School Science 101 and today I'm going to show you something that I received in the mail recently from a company called sterlingkit.com. And this company makes a range of really interesting gadgets, one of which is this special type of sterling engine that apparently generates electricity. So I'm really keen to unbox it, set it up and let's see how it works. Just while we're getting this set up, let's read through some information about this device from the website. So it's a small generator with a built-in voltage digital display meter. So you can actually see how much voltage is being generated in real time. It's made of stainless steel and aluminium alloy. And in fact, they say that the surface is exquisite and full of metallic luster. Apparently it's fully assembled and ready for operation. Um, it's for ages 10 and over. It's 16 by eight by 11 centimeters and it weighs 340 grams when it's fully assembled. Okay, let's see what we've got. We have this light bulb with these alligator clips, which must connect onto our generator. We have these components, which form our alcohol lamp and this will be important for generating the heat in this cylinder. So it'll sit underneath this tube here and that'll cause the air inside this cylinder and I believe this one to expand and contract. And in doing so, that'll rotate the flywheel and that's connected to this generator through that black belt. And then the generator is connected to this voltmeter so you can see exactly how much voltage is being generated. So let's open this up and take a closer look. I've got to say that straight out of the box, I've got pretty good first impressions. I mean, the parts look pretty well made. They're made out of cast metal and they've got this brushed chrome finish. Um, they've even put stoppers on the base so you don't scratch any surfaces. And overall, it feels really solid. I mean, it's 340 grams, so it's got some weight to it. So they've thrown in a spare glass tube and this ring that the alcohol lamp sits in underneath that tube. So let's fire it up and see how we go. The first step is to add the alcohol to our little alcohol lamp here. And it says to add 95% alcohol to about two thirds capacity. So here's some ethanol that I've prepared earlier. Let's just fill this up a bit to about two thirds. So maybe about there. And then let's add our wick. And I've already threaded the wick through this little brass uh, lid. Like that, and that's our little lamp. All right, let's light our lamp, the moment of truth. Oh, there we go. So that's our lamp, let's put it underneath our heating tube in that metal ring and that will heat up the air inside that tube quite nicely and after about 30 seconds we'll start to spin the flywheel and see what happens.
Okay, it's been about 30 seconds. Let's give this flywheel a push and see what happens. Nearly there. I think it might just need a bit more time to heat up. But it's it's getting there. Let's just reposition this lamp. Okay, let's try again. Ready. That's really close. There we go. Once it gets that momentum, then it should just keep going. And there we have it. It's really picking up now. <laughs> Wow. Okay, I might just take the lamp away for a bit. Okay. Oh, and you can see it slows down. So let's put it back under. Oh, it stopped completely. Okay, let's... I just want to get that position just right so that it's not going to just spin so fast that it breaks itself. So I think about there should be okay. Let's try again. Let's get it going again. There we go. Let's just add a little bit more heat. Wow, it's pretty sensitive. It seems to almost be an all or nothing kind of thing. Looks like that's just right. No, a bit more. Okay, there we go. We've got it. Yep, yep. Um, at the moment, I can't see anything coming up on the voltmeter, but you can see that, well, clearly that flywheel's moving, and that flywheel is connected by that black belt to this generator, which does have leads going to this screen. So that should be generating electricity. But, oh, there we go. You can see there's some flickering on the screen. Maybe it just had to generate enough voltage for that to come on. It's still flickering. I can't see any numbers. It looks like it's just zero. I think I saw a one. I'm not sure. But it's not a constant reading. I thought that screen would just stay on and give you a, a constant number of how many volts are being generated. But at the moment, it just appears to be flickering, which is good. I, it gener it's generating electricity. Otherwise, that wouldn't be coming on. That's good. But I'm not yet convinced that that's a fully functioning voltmeter just yet. It might need to have to power up a bit more and charge up a bit more. But, so the voltmeter was one way that you could tell that it was generating electricity, but remember it came with a light bulb with alligator clips. Let's connect those up and see if that light bulb lights up. Okay, so I've got my light bulb here and it had these alligator clips. So let's clip these on just onto the back of our generator here. So red to red and black to black. Okay. So now, we've got a light bulb. Let's test. We did see that it was generating electricity because that, that screen was flickering. But maybe just not quite enough to show a solid number. So let's heat up our tube again. 
So by heating up this tube, we're actually causing the air inside this cylinder to expand and it looks like through this connecting tube, we're causing the air in this top half of this chamber to expand as well. And the air at the bottom of the chamber should be colder and there's probably a little plate. In fact, there's a, you can see there's pistons inside. We can't see it, but there's pistons inside. And that difference in air pressure causes those pistons to rise and fall. And because there's two of them, uh, you can actually generate a fair bit of, bit of power to this flywheel. So that's been heating up for a bit of time now. Let's spin the flywheel, give it a kick start and see if it works. It looks like we need a bit more heat. The bigger the temperature difference between the two ends of the cylinder, the faster it'll spin. So we need to, by heating this end of it up, this part here, we're creating a bigger temperature difference between this part and this part, which should be cooler. I could actually put some, some ice or some water on this end and that would really um, help it along as well. Okay, so let's, Give it a go, it's nearly there. Just a bit longer. There we go. Okay, so that's running. That's generating some voltage, hopefully. And maybe, yep. Can you see that light flickering? Wow, that's pretty cool. That's definitely generating some light. That's really good. Overall, I think this is a really good product. I think it's well made. Um, it's even got this transparent plastic as the support structure, which doesn't distract you from the main parts that you need to be looking at, and it doesn't obscure your view of any of the moving parts as well. So that's a nice touch. And overall, uh, it's well built, it's got some good weight, and it works. I mean, all you have to do is just have some, some ethanol and heat this up, and then you're generating electricity. So it's a really good demonstration of how thermodynamics and you know, some physics, some movement, some kinetic energy can be used to generate electricity. And even though the voltmeter didn't stay on and give me a solid reading, we could see that it was working with the light bulb. So overall, a really good product, um, really good demonstration model, and definitely a, a good gift for someone that's interested in physics. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.